Welcome back guys. Hope you've had all had a great week. Um, thanks for everybody who viewed last week's video and who commented. Um, the response I've had is overwhelming with the, the spoony glittery bowl that I made last week and um, I am well words can't explain how I feel with the response I had from that. It's got to be one of my best um, viewed videos in the short period of time that has been on so I'm really pleased with that so now I appreciate everybody who watched and viewed and commented um, back to this week's project one of my friends grandparents was cutting down some silver birch trees must be two or three months ago now and he asked me if I wanted the timber for turning and obviously I didn't refuse um, I offered to buy it off of him but they basically just wanted it out of the way so what I agreed to do was I would do a bowl for his grandparents um, not a bowl sorry a pot um, for his grandparents just to say thank you for giving me the timber so um, that's what I'm going to do this week like I said I've had about two and a half three months to dry so it's not totally dry so it's still a little bit green but I've never till turned silver birch before so I thought I'd give it a go so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to get it to a rough shape um, and as normal I'm going to do uh, a joint on the end so we can hold it in the chuck then we'll flip it and finish it off so that's what I'm going to do so what we'll do is we'll rough it out with a rough engage and get our basic shape and see how it comes out I'm hoping we're going to get a nice grain in the bottom here because it had like a limb coming from it so I'm hoping we're going to get something nice out of that but um, we'll see so we'll get turned and see what we come out with
There you go folks, this week's video, nothing too exciting unfortunately, a nice little silver birch bowl, it's got a slight little bit of splatter in it as well which is quite nice and you can see where the, obviously where the uh, the limb was coming out of it, which I thought I might get a little, whoops, I might get a little bit of that, but no, I like it, it's turned out nice and like I say, it's got a little bit of splatter inside, looks good. Like I said, I was going to do a pot. But uh, when I got into it, there wasn't quite enough height to get a decent sized pot and the lid. So I thought I'd just go for a little bowl. And uh, I'm going to put just something in the bottom just to say thank you to the couple so, and who it's from. So no, I'm pleased with that. It's turned out really well. Still a little bit green, I think, because you can feel a little bit of moisture in it. You know what I mean, the tree's been cut down for about, I'd say, three and a half, four months. But it's, it's, it's been in the garage, in the dry, but it's still obviously there's still a bit of moisture in the garage, but still a little bit green. So I'm hoping it's not going to crack. If it warps a little bit, I'm not too worried because that just give it a bit of extra character. But um, I don't really want it to crack, so I'll leave it in the workshop for uh, a few weeks and we'll see what happens. I mean, that's about, I don't know, anywhere between 17 and 20 degrees in the workshop. So um, hopefully that'll dry out slowly and not go mad and crack. So um, no, I'm pleased with that. I really am. So I hope you guys liked it. I apologise if it's not very interesting this week, but I needed to get this done. I thought, well, I'm, I'm making it. I might as well record it and uh, stick it on the channel. Again, at the end of the day, it's a, it's a nice little project. So I've enjoyed doing it. And like I said, it's the first time I've ever turned silver birch. So I'm really pleased how it's turned out. Um, the first time I turned green wood, it's easier to turn, it's easier to cut, just you don't know what to expect because we don't know what this is going to do because obviously na nature will now take its course with the timber in the way the grain is and everything else. Anything can happen. Like I said, I could come in here in two days time and I split, split it half and it's absolutely useless. But we'll see, we'll try. And I mean, all we can do is try and error. That's what the job, the game's all about. So I hope you guys have liked it. Obviously, if you like, then like and share. Um, just like to thank everybody who commented on my video last week. The glittery spoon. No, no, I wouldn't say glittery spoony. The spoon stroke glittery bowl I made with uh, the plastic spoons. Um, you guys were absolutely outstanding last week. The views I got are overwhelming and they're still growing. The comments were amazing and I'm just so grateful to everybody who watched the video and I do appreciate everybody's comments. So thank you very much guys and I, you know what I mean, you guys blow me away every single week with the, 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 the nice comments that I get and I do it because I enjoy doing it and I do it because I want to keep you guys entertained so I'm glad that I'm keeping you entertained so thank you very much to everybody who watched and commented my video last week so what I'll do for all you guys who are watching this week's video but didn't see last week's video then I will put a link up here here somewhere for um, last week's video so if you get a chance pop back and see it you know what I mean it was a good video and I enjoyed making it and I may make another one in the process because the reason being is I don't normally get rid of my projects I make but that one from last week I have donated it to a nice young lady who, who um, let's put it this way, uh, deserves it. So um, with that, that's this week's project. Thank you everybody for coming back and watching the channel. Um, I have a brand new project next week for you guys and the good thing is it's getting near Christmas so we're thinking about Christmas projects now you never know so um, anyway that's this week's project I want everybody to have a great weekend take care speak to you soon and bye for now <laughs>